Hi everyone, this is Phoenix Mass, and today we're going to be doing character design. So, I'm sure we all know the struggle of not really knowing where to start with character design. Some of the hardest struggles we creatives face is looking at a blank canvas. Of course, times are different, and I'm sure you've all heard, but ChatGPT. Love it or hate it, it's here to stay, and I honestly find it pretty useful. Speaking as an artist, too, just to clarify. Because honestly, I I really do think it is a great tool to use to kickstart your creativity. And again, it's only to be used as a starting point. <laughs> You're not copying it word for word and expecting that to be everything. It's literally deleting that one task of a blank page. The thing that honestly stops a lot of us before even starting. I want to set the scene real quick. Yes, we can start from scratch, but I actually have a story I'd like to share with you all too. It's the city of Phoenix Mast. The, the character, the character version of me. <laughs> yeah, let's just get into that. Imagine it, a thriving cyberpunk city. High tech, high fashion, with everything pretty much running on autopilot. But things are changing here in Nexus. People are starting to adopt masks, both as a fashion trend and as a statement against the constant surveillance in this city. New underground organizations are even forming, giving the city an added layer of intrigue. Today, we are going to be partnering with ChatGPT to create one of these drifters, a newcomer who has just entered the city and is ready to make a name for themselves. It's not just about creating a character, it's about bringing a story to life. So fasten your seatbelts and let's see what ChatGPT has in store for us. So when it comes to what I actually did, I already had an account with ChatGPT, so if you don't have one, you should get one. Now, when you're in ChatGPT, you can go as simple or as complicated as you want. For me, I decided because I already knew a lot of contextual information about the world of Nexus, I would be using it to make a pretty sizable prompt, which I'll be showing on the screen here. As you can see, it's pretty lengthy. <laughs> if you put the time into making a pretty cool prompt, it's more likely to, I guess, go into kind of like a creative mode where it has a lot to pull from and it's going to give you something pretty unique. Here's the results. Entering Nexus is an individual known as Ark. All and lean, Ark possesses a striking appearance. Their attire is predominantly in shades of midnight blue and chrome, subtly reflecting the city's neon glow. They prefer loose, comfortable clothes, often seen in a long coat with an upturned collar, concealing most of their features. Ark's mask is their defining attribute. It's a sleek design with a polished obsidian surface. Their mask is minimalist, only covering the area around their eyes and at the bridge of their nose. Two narrow slits serve as eye openings, beneath which neon blue glyphs glow mysteriously. It's more than just a fashion statement. It's a cryptic symbol that has the underground movement buzzing with theories. Ark's personality is as elusive as their appearance. They are reserved and enigmatic with a calm demeanor that hides their sharp intellect. They have a knack for blending in with a crowd, yet they have an uncanny ability to be exactly where they need to be when something significant happens in Nexus. Their reason for moving to Nexus remains shrouded in mystery. Some whisper they were drawn to the city's unexplored secrets, while others believe it's their association with a secret organization called Echelon. Echelon is whispered about in hushed voices among the denizens of Nexus. They're known for their covert operations, rumored to be navigating the political undercurrents of the city. However, whether Echelon is just a play in a complex scheme of intrigue, or they're torchbearers of an upcoming revolution, is yet to be determined. Ark and Echelon's entrance to Nexus's scene has undeniably added to a layer of mystery and anticipation. Only time will reveal the true purpose behind their mask facade. That was what it gave me. There's still a lot of room for us to play around with. For now, again, it's all about doing the character design and I guess I've always preferred that. <laughs> to be honest, aside from the 
character I've been developing for myself, this will be the first character I've made in quite some time. Starting off with something like this has actually been super useful, and I hope for those of you who haven't had time as well, this could be something easily accessible to get you jump started on creating something cool. I didn't refine it as neatly as I have the power to. So, you're not, at the very least, it gives me a strong concept to work off if I ever wanted to zoom more with this art character. And there's, of course, so much more you can do with it, but yeah, let me know in the comments. What do you guys think about ChatGPT AI stuff? And do any of you happen to agree with me that it's actually really cool? I'm just trying to find my people, okay? <laughs> Now we'll be looking at the final result. As I mentioned, he has this long coat on, baggy pants. Um, if there was a few things I was kind of struggling with, it was like chrome. Like what's like what's chrome? I, I, I know I looked it up and I know it's I know it's shiny, but I feel like that would probably take more of like a rendering effort, perhaps. I don't know. So I probably probably didn't try as hard on that front, but hey, I did add a few shiny bits here and there, and I hope it worked. This was a pretty fun challenge. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the time lapse, and I just started making videos recently. I would love if you guys would send me your feedback on how I did. Thank you.